So now that we understand keywords a little bit better, let's talk about what makes a good keyword and how we can find them completely for free. So first of all, what makes a good keyword? We're basically after three main things. The first one being volume. So this is just a fancy way of saying how often people are looking for that specific keyword, right? So obviously the more people searching for that specific keyword, the more business you will get. But on the flip side, the higher the search volume, the more competitive it is, since there's gonna be more people trying to fight for that traffic. So if we're starting out, we're ideally looking for keywords that still have a decent number in volume. I'd like to say at least 100 searches a month, but it isn't super competitive. And what does it mean when a keyword is competitive or not? If you guys are new to the SEO space, you're gonna be hearing about this a lot. And this is actually the second thing that we're looking at when we're looking at a good keyword. And we're trying to find a keyword that has low competition. So the term competition inside of SEO is a bit more complex topic, but it basically has to do with how much a authority do your competitors have for that specific keyword? And we determine authority in SEO with this idea of backlinks. We're going to be talking a little bit about backlinks later in this mini course. But all we need to know for now is that the more competitive a keyword is, all it means is that your competitors have more high quality backlinks pointing to their website, which means that they have more authority inside of Google's eyes, which means that it's going to be harder for you to rank against them, especially if you have a brand new website. So if we have a brand new website, we are looking for keywords that have a keyword difficulty of between zero to 10, right? We consider this term of competitiveness with this metric of keyword difficulty. And the third thing that we're looking after for a great keyword is the content. So once we've passed the first two checks, there's decent search volume and it isn't too competitive. We just want to scan the content of our competitors, the people that are ranking for that keyword, see what angles they're taking, see the type of content they're creating and see if there's a space, if there's something that they've missed that we can provide to the search engine, right? Once we have all those three things, that makes a perfect keyword where we can perform and get traffic to our website. But how do we find these keywords, guys? Well, for starters, those initial keywords should be pretty easy. They should be the keywords that are closest to your main business, right? The main service, the main product, the main software that you're offering. So if I'm a divorce lawyer in New York City, for example, then the main keyword that I'd be looking at targeting would be divorce lawyer in New York and all these different variations. I'm obviously going to have more services that I offer. If that's the case, then each of those services will have their own type of keyword research and specific keywords that we want to target with our content. We're going to be talking about content a little bit later as well. But if you aren't too sure about that main keyword that you want to target, then I recommend checking out your competitors. If you know who your competitors are, scan their content, see what patterns of keywords you find on their content. It's going to be pretty easy to see what they're trying to rank for and what those main keywords are. But let's talk about three free tools that can give you a quite complete free keyword research process. The first one I like to use in the ideation phase. So when I'm not even sure what keyword I want to target, I go to this specific tool and this tool is called answer the public here. And so let's say I type in divorce lawyer, New York, I'm going to search that and we're going to get a bunch of different ideas here, which is going to help us define all the possible keywords that we could be targeting. So there's going to be a lot of questions that we can target. So how much is divorce lawyer, New York? There's also going to be keywords with prepositions. So family lawyer, New York City, best divorce attorney. So this is giving me different ideas of the type of content that I should be creating and the specific keywords that I should be including in my content. So a lot of data here and it is completely for free. So I'd recommend this tool in the ideation phase. After that, once we found a couple of keywords that we're interested in, I then recommend installing this Chrome extension right here, Keyword Surfer. With that, what we're going to be able to do is if I type in divorce lawyer, New York City, we're going to be able to see that search volume, which we can see right here. So estimated search volume around 2000 monthly searches. Uh, we can also change countries here if we'd like, if we're targeting a different country and we get some keyword ideas, which is quite neat. The one thing that we're missing here is how competitive this keyword is. We do get a pretty good idea here by taking a look at the CPC. So this is how much people are willing to pay inside of the Google ads auction for this specific keyword, $24. So definitely a very competitive keyword. And the last tool that I recommend to have a more complete keyword research process is the keyword difficulty checker. Uh, this is a free tool by Ahrefs. So if I type in divorce lawyer, New York. Let's just say that we're going to get a pretty neat summary of this keyword, how difficult it is. So again, we're taking a look at that keyword difficulty score where I was recommending at 
at least starting from a zero to a 10. And we also get the top 10 results for this specific keyword. With these three free tools, we can have a really complete keyword research process. And now we know more or less what we're looking for. In the next episode of this mini SEO course, we're going to be talking about content, how that fits in with keywords and what type of content we should be creating. If you guys want a more advanced course, feel free to check out the link in the description. I cover a lot of real life examples, my own personal case studies, and I go a lot more in depth in all of these topics, specifically keyword research. I'll see you guys in the next one.